Story Under My Pillow An exciting story whose few readers will watch the full video, eager to know what happens next. One morning, Sam chewed on crunchy cereal when she noticed her tooth wiggling. Mom, my tooth is loose, she exclaimed. Sam's eyes widened when the tooth fell out of her mouth. She held the shiny, pointy tooth. You're becoming a big girl, explained Mom as she smiled and gently touched the tooth. All your baby teeth will fall out, and new grown-up teeth, like mine, will replace them. But will they all fall out at once? Sam asked. No, honey. Before going to sleep tonight, put your baby tooth under your pillow. The tooth fairy will come and take it. In the morning, you'll find a present that the tooth fairy has left for you. Wow! Sam thought. I'm going to get a present just for putting my tooth under my pillow. Mom, will I get a present for every one of my teeth? Asked Sam. Yes, honey, replied Mom. Sam couldn't wait to go to bed to see if what her mother said was true. She carefully put the tiny tooth under her pillow. Nervous with expectation, her stomach filled up with butterflies. She tossed and turned before finally falling to sleep. The following day, Sam shot out of bed and threw the pillow to the floor. She hoped to see some shiny coins or crisp dollar bills, just as her mother had promised. But instead, there was nothing. No tooth, no present. Mom. Mom rushed into the room to see what was wrong. There's no present, and my tooth is gone. Sam cried. Hmm. That's strange, said Mom. Sam had an idea. Maybe I can write the tooth fairy a letter. I can ask her if she can find my tooth and my present. That sounds like a great plan, replied Mom. Before Sam went to bed that night, she carefully wrote a letter, folded it, and tucked it under her pillow. She hoped the Tooth Fairy would answer her wish. Dear Tooth Fairy, Where did my tooth go? My mom told me I'd get a present for my tooth, but I didn't. Your friend, a very sad, Samantha. The Tooth Fairy read Sam's letter from Tooth Fairy Land. Never before had a tooth or present gone missing from under a child's pillow. She decided to make an exceptional appearance at Sam's house the next day. The next morning, the Tooth Fairy swept into Sam's house. She was riding a magical bird with an enormous plume of blue feathers, a red face, an orange beak, and green eyes. Sam, meet Gordy. I ride him when I'm collecting teeth and delivering presents, said the Tooth Fairy. Sam and her mother were speechless. They couldn't believe that the Tooth Fairy was in their kitchen. Gather around, everyone, Sam said. Now, let's put our spy hats on to figure out what happened to the present and my tooth. Everyone talked and talked and came up with a plan, everyone except Gordy. The Tooth Fairy, Sam, and Mom split up to search the house for the tooth and the present. Gordy, meanwhile, snuck into the backyard. His long beak pecked into the ground. 
Squirrels ran up the tree, hedgehogs scurried, while bluebirds and robins tweeted. As the others continued to search for the tooth and the present, Gordy frantically covered up the hole in the backyard. Sam called out the window to Gordy. What are you doing outside? She asked suspiciously. We need to go see what Gordy's up to. Gordy found himself surrounded by the tooth fairy, Sam, and her mom. He jumped around mischievously, covering the ground with dirt. Sam quickly figured out he was hiding something. Gordy, what's under there? After just a few seconds of digging, Sam discovered a package under the mound of dirt. Yes. Great job, Sam, shouted the tooth fairy and her mom. But Sam's smile faded. She was angry at Gordy for tricking her. Why did you hide my present? She asked him. Sam peered into Gordy's eyes. I'm feeling angry that you tricked me. Gordy giggled and admitted, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I thought it would be funny. I wrapped it up tight so it would be safe when you found it. Plus, you get to keep both your tooth and your present. It's okay, Gordy, said Sam. I forgive you. Everyone hugged each other and felt better. Next time, let's play a game we all think it's funny, Sam said. Gordy replied, that sounds like a magical idea. Thanks, Tooth Fairy, called Mom and Sam. The Tooth Fairy hopped on Gordy, waved goodbye, and flew back to Tooth Fairy Land to prepare for the next lost tooth. The end. Goodbye, my friends. 